light is much too intense, pardon me. Yes, and I'm going to put my glasses on too, because I can. Yes, I am speaking to you from my studio. <clears throat> Notice the elaborately studio here costs multi thousands of dollars. Um, to knuckle down. When I was a youngster, I had a teacher who would frequently, well, okay, let's be honest, lots of teachers, who would frequently shake their heads and say, Philip, Philip, you know, if you would just knuckle down to your studies and, and, and pay attention and things, you would do so much better. Okay. Pardon me, I'm reading my notes here. Now, I knew what she meant to, to get serious, to get my stuff together, pay attention. But I was much more interested in the next recess when my friends and I would literally knuckle down and shoot marbles, which is where this phrase comes from. There's my darling wife coming into the room. I can't stop now. Marbles is a game played by shooting little glass balls with a flick of the thumb trying to hit the other guy's marble. Now, there are many ways of playing it, and uh, though it's not too popular in schoolyards now, <laughs> she's laughing at me. <laughs> um, it has been played for centuries, many centuries, and once came close to being the national pastime of England. Anyway, each player has to shoot by holding his hand as close to the ground as possible, and then and then you flip that marble off and you hit the other guy's marble, knocking him out of the little circle or the banana, which is what we play usually. So, uh, well, with the knuckles touching the ground, it's difficult sometimes to shoot. So you, the temptation is to lift up a little bit and get a little better angle on that sucker, at which point we would all yell out, knuckles down, meaning get them knuckles down and play according to the rules. So... This is what, where the phrase comes from. The win hands down. Um, anytime you score a victory without effort, you win hands down. Even if your hands were waving above your head at the moment of the finish, everyone knows what you mean, but where did it come from? Hmm. I asked myself that one day, and then I researched it. Why do we say that? Well, I decided that it came from the horse racing set. Uh, these people who make their living um, betting on horses point out that at the finish of a race, the jockeys are always in a crouch, urge, oh, far out over their horse's neck, urging them forward with, with as much as they can. Um, like this. Can I see that? There. Anyway. Or swatting them with a the whip. Unless... The jockey and the horse are so far ahead of the rest of the, of the horses behind them that it's not necessary to do that, in which case the hands stay down and they win hands down. It means to win easily with no sweat and it comes to us from horse racing. Uh, personality. Is your personality a, a mask? A role that you play? Something that you hide behind to keep your real self secret? Well, strange as it may sound, that is just what it once meant. A persona was a mask that Greek and Roman actors wore when performing on stage. An actor put on a certain mask and voila! The audience knew that, oh, that's Oedipus, or Helen the Great, or Zeke the Fool, or something. They, they, uh, it was natural that, that the names of the, the mask, the persona, came to mean the parts that were being played. And then any character in the human comedy that we all play roles in. And that's why we use the word personality. And that's it. This is Phil uh, with uh, episode 8 of Why Do We Say That? Thank you for watching and listening. And subscribe, please.